Hi, my name is Andrew Sepan. I was born in Oakland. Um, I am currently a fourth year at UC Berkeley and going on to my ninth semester, my fifth year. And I study landscape arch architecture and forestry. My name is Julia Sewi and I was an IMSF recipient in 2006. I currently live in San Francisco, but I grew up in Oakland and I graduated from UC Davis in 2010. Hi, my name is Erica Sepon. I was born and raised here in Oakland, California. My name is Zed Flo Staley, or people call me Flo, so I go by Flo. I'm also an intern at a landscape architecture firm right now. And it's going pretty swell, and I hope to continue it on to uh, becoming a full-time landscape designer after I graduate. I graduated from Skyline High School in Oakland in 2001 and that was the year that I received the Human Scholarship Fund scholarship. And from there I attended UC Berkeley and graduated with my bachelor's degree in American Studies with an emphasis in education and social policy. I taught for a couple of years after that, um, then I went back to pursue my master's in, in counseling. And I'm currently a school counselor and I am, this is my fifth year as a school counselor in Oakland. I currently work for UCSF. I'm a research administrator, so what I do right now is I help researchers or scientists, also known as um, principal investigators, essentially find funding for their research. And I am currently working as a project manager for a construction company. We do electrical work. We install traffic signals, street lighting throughout the city of San Francisco for the most part. The reason why I wanted to pursue higher education was really due to my parents. Um, since my parents didn't have an education, they didn't have a formal education, when they were growing up in Laos, um, they understood the value of it because they didn't have access to it. And so growing up, they always instilled in us and really tried to um, let us know how important it was to have a good education. You know, my parents, when they came to the United States, it was for us, for, to have to, for us to have a better future. So for me to go to college, it was just something, it was a life, lifelong goal. Thinking back, I know that when I was in middle school, um, even going to high school, I was doing pretty bad. And then you know, my dad, his uh, expectations were, you need to finish high school. So higher education was really kind of the opportunity and the key to access more things. When I received the scholarship, I think uh, that, was, that was back when I was in high school and I was very uncertain of what college finances would entail. Little did I know it would entail a lot. <laughs> but needless to say, the, the scholarship was super helpful and I think it's more of the idea of receiving the scholarship uh, rather than the amount. Through the times where I was doing bad in class, I was failing, or I had a really hard time. Like I think back, you know what? Who helped me out through college? Or who helped pay for my bills? And the scholarship, even though it was just a small amount, it, it goes to show that, you know what? These people, you have them on your back, you have them on your shoulder, you're carrying them. So don't let them down. And just knowing that is like, you know what? When you're at the brink of failure, it, you wake up and realize, you know what? Even though it's only thousand dollars, these people are—they're cheering me on. They're on my team, and it—it it helped. It helped push, it helped push me to be like, you know what? I'm gonna try a little harder, or right, um, I'm gonna get back up. Yeah. Beyond the financial award that was um, that I received, it was really a way for me to connect more with the Mian community. So. After I graduated from college, um, I was able to come back and really be more a part of the community. And because I was a scholar and received the scholarship, I was able to come back to be part of the committee to interview new scholars. I think just getting the scholarship meant a lot to me because I knew that I had to support my community and also the essay that I wrote for IMSF was a chance for me to really kind of think about what being Mian meant to me and also what it meant to be a leader. And I knew that after receiving the scholarship, I was definitely going to come back to help out too. I don't think I would have 
participate in other community activities while I was here if it weren't for the encouragement of them before. The Maine community needs to be preserved. And if all of us turn a blind eye and just say, well, it's kind of far, or, uh, you know, there's always going to be a million excuses to not help out. But giving back, if everyone gives a little bit back and help out, then it's like you'll see the whole community start to form again. And I feel like for me and people, that's what we're all about. We're about a lot of giving back, a lot of, we're very community oriented. Uh, a lot of the ceremonies we do, everything involves helping each other out.